Hello, my name is Emily and I have an Etsy store called Yesterday's Stash and I discovered junk journals about five years ago and I am just on this best this best journey. It has just been the most rewarding and fun uh, project. It, it all started though when um, I started uh, collecting things from the old home place some 30 years ago and they've been sitting in drawers and we've moved them from house to house and just uh, need to go ahead and de-stash and that's how uh, my name of my shop which is yesterday stash came about so this is um, my latest book and it the fabric here and here is an example of something that had been has been sitting in my drawers forever uh, of my chests and um, tons of lace but this particular fabric was done by the house the the house for the last say 50 years uh, that the house somebody lived there it was um, spinsters and school teachers and so many of the items um, in the the chest of drawers that I pulled things from belonged to those folks or were left there. Um, it, this particular fabric came from uh, the, this type of somebody had been working on this, but a lot of the fabric uh, has dry rot rotted and so you really can't use it unless you cut into it. And it was very hard to cut into this because what this is, is old um, fabrics, but uh, I was told from old neckties because there were f three or four boys in the house and some of them died in the war and so their stuff just stayed there at the old home place. And so some of it is neckties, you can kind of see. But uh, that's what uh, is on the outside of this. I had them dry cleaned, I had this dry cleaned and um, you can actually see some of the, uh, I, I just left it the way it is after I dry cleaned it so that you can see some of the, um, how they went about putting some of the different uh, cruel on it um, and so forth. So this book uh, is a Jane Austen book. I'm a Jane Austen and English, I love everything England, Anglophile if you want to, my daughter calls me an Anglophile. And, uh, so that coupled with with the things that I got from the old home place, coupled with that we have a really, really interesting um, s s store in town called Scrap Exchange is where I can supplement and, and just have a wonderful collection of things to make junk journals out of. Um, this is, uh, oh, uh, has a, uh, actually a uh, ponytail. It's kind of a peach color, the peach, rose and what I did was I put some um, of these garment pins on here and you actually stick it in uh, using a, a Tim Holtz uh, hitch post if that's what you call it hitch or hitch his, hitch and you actually uh, close it uh, that way so the book itself has 170 pages or 140 front and back and um, 17 different kinds of lace are used throughout, as well as various washi tapes. There was a huge uh, bucket of um, threads and buttons that um, I, I still continue to have, and uh, just have made different, used the different laces in ways that can um, enhance uh, the other things that are in the book. So there's a lot of lace in here, um, and also there's journaling pages, and I have 28 journaling pages, and if you want to consider the front and the back, then um, you, you could say that this is uh, 56 pages for actually journal journaling. And I'm a, a, I love to make tags, I just, find so many. I look at magazines uh, and I find so many things that I think, oh, that would make a great tag. So the book has um, five signatures and this is actually a, an upholstery 
um, upholstery uh, fabric. I'm not sure if it's pleather or leather or naga hide or whatever, but um, for a dollar at my scrap exchange, I can get a whole uh, book of a different um, of the different fabrics that make great siding, uh, backing, or sides, or, or um, you know, they're a little too small for the front, for the whole front or the whole back. But this fabric here is cotton, polyester, and acrylic, if you can believe it. It says it's an acrylic coating on the face. So again, you, you can't really tell when you buy something used like that unless it tells you, but you, you know, so that's what the back of this is um, made out of. Uh, on the front, I have a pocket here that has some Jane Austen things. This is a game that when I was in uh, London a couple of years ago, I went to this, you know, bookstore and it had this matchmaker game. I'm sure you can get it online. It's probably not anything that's too, too, uh, hard to find, but I did find it, and what it is is it's matching all of the characters of Jane Austen with her with her beau, like Jane Fairfax and Frank Churchill, for instance. And I do a lot of research, and this is a book that I found. It's called Crime, Gender, and Consumer Culture in 19th Century England, and this is a, what it says is the Grafton House Fabric Store and Jane Austen wrote to her sister Cassandra about shopping in this store for various items. So I like to collect uh, things about Jane, have been collecting them just for years, and now able to take them and use them in junk journals. Um, so it has just been a real treat, and it's a real treat to be able to show you how these journals have turned out. This is a piece of, uh, as a covering, um, I used um, a, a piece of uh, a t tape that uh, helps to hold the book together. This is the Adosa Square. I'm sure that you have seen that. Um, it's, it, it's a great paper package. The only problem with the Adosa Square is it only uses one side, and I prefer to use pages that are two-sided, like this one. So these are just some of the, the things that um, I have. I wanted to let you know that throughout the pages, I have purchased um, Jane Austen kits on Etsy from um, Dreams Etc. and from Amy Joy um, and from um, Artie Mays. And then another uh, one of my favorites is a lady named Deli Girl and she has a Spotify shop. So um, I have used um, pages from that, which I'll point out that those are the pages. But this actually came from um, a, a tag that I collaged and just had the greatest time pulling off, you know, sewing. I got some sewing on the back, putting on, putting on a, a, a piece of, uh, of uh, a floral uh, motif, uh, some, um, some of that. Uh, yarn, um, old mag old catalog pages, pictures from old uh, dictionaries, uh, buttons out of that drawer, out of that huge uh, box of buttons. And um, this is also a um, Theodosa Square. This particular paper came from a Downton Abbey packet. So it's really a wide variety. I just took pages that were um, uh, you know, kind of loose. Uh, this is a piece of stationery that I kind of put a, uh, a uh, Inca gold on and maybe some um, uh, Mod Podge, um, some gold looking pins, um, purple lace, um, a little sari silk and some gold. And this is just an example of I pull together, I just take a, a bucket and I, or a, you know, like a, a bucket, and I put together, put everything in the bucket. And like, uh, I will then go through and say what goes with what. And you can see that I pulled this kind of paper and a picture of a woman, um, probably off of Pinterest, 
and then put together some of the gold uh, leaf design and put some ink, um, some uh, vintage photo on it and it just makes a great a great little tag. Uh, this here is the, the the fabric that you can buy that uh, you actually got it off of Etsy as well. Um, and uh, you you know you can cut up these and make them any design you want. And I decided to make this just a, a little uh, decoration along the side. Uh, I was at my uh, that thrift store one day, and we have a lot of art libraries in the area. And someone had taken, I guess, a catalog and pulled out pictures of all these different. It was like a stack of fifty of these black and white pictures from the National Gallery of Art. And so I brought them home, coffee stained them, put a backing on them to make them tougher. Um, and have you, you know, they make great, great tags. And this is just some netting. Uh, I have about uh, a half a dozen or more little, little keys or charms that can be pulled off. These different, um, 55 are different detachable tags. You can take out these tags and use them somewhere, someplace else. Um, uh, I love to make handmade flowers, and so this is some lace and some um, uh, pearl, more journaling pages. Here's another one of my handmade flowers, and this is just a little uh, card here that says Give Joy. Um, and when we travel abroad, I go and pick, I go to odd stores, um, bookstores and gift stores and, and, and look around for things that people um, in different countries have. And this little card right here actually came from Prague. Uh, it was just something that was sold. I'm sure you can get it here, but um, that's where I got mine. These are old magazine uh, advertisements that I've turned into into tags um, and put, put some stitching around um, and it can be used as, as a little tag. Got some washi tape right here. Uh, this is an example of an old magazine. It's called The Garden Magazine and it is um, from uh, June of 1916 and just beautiful pictures and lots of advertisements um, that can be used and wonderful articles. In fact, I've taken to some of the better articles, I've taken out and put them in envelopes to put in and to insert in my journals uh, just for people who purchase the journal to read. Here's another one called The Connoiss Connoisseur and this one is from 1904. Um, here's another one from 1913 and so we I've just been able to collect this is called a woman's home companion from 1899 and you know you can tell that it's old and shabby but it has advertisements in it that are great to use for tags I always like to include um, these little take-and-go books where I take it put a little design and then add uh, papers and you can just come and grab it and to take it with you if you've got to take notes. Uh, the Scrap Exchange also has these, a huge collection of ATC cards and here's one uh, called Secret Garden and it tells the people that uh, did that and this was in July of 2006. So I don't know where they came from or where Scrap Exchange got it but they are a wonderful collection of a ATC cards that I've been able to include. This is a Tim Holtz paper. Uh, I put some glimmer mist on some of these pages. These are little, um, in, you know, this is to so-and-so, from so-and-so. It's a little card that you can take out and use um, in, um, in gift giving. Um, this is a Tim Holtz card with a little motif that I kind of put on here. But uh, Glimmer Mist is just a wonderful product that I love to use. Sometimes I can't get the, the, these to the, you know, sprays to work and it puts little splotches on it and drives me, na drives me nuts. Sometimes I will actually buy another set. In fact, I have a whole set of these and just turn and just 
empty the the bottle in uh, into the empty uh, you know so that it will spray better some short pages um, this is a quote from Jane Austen and this is Charles Dickens former home that I found in a magazine so um, I'm looking for this is an old uh, ho uh, old castle that is now being turned into a hotel and spa and this is an old uh, book that had a bunch of picture, black and white pictures and this is a person, uh, the Duchess Maximilian of Bavaria. It tells who did it, Munich, 1892. So I have quite a few of those in there that can be used as tags. More home handmade flowers. Uh, these are um, what we call smash books that you can get at Tuesday morning and this is just a, an extra tag. I had fun playing around with stenciling on the inside of some of the pages that are just one-sided, and uh, that was that was an interesting, you know, and, and um, probably I probably need to practice a little bit doing that. And this is a tag made with napkin that I mod podged on, and it's on cardboard and has a little um, lace and some uh, a little believe. Uh, quote on it. This one is Dreamer. This is another Jane Austen quote. Uh, moving on through, this is a, a design I did using this this uh, this old book that I came across. Um, it was in terrible shape, but it's called uh, Letters to a Young Lady. And it kind of reminds me of Jane Austen and, you know, how things were so proper back in, the, in that time. But also, I've been able to take some of these pages and put them together and make them into pockets and decorated the outside of them um, with pockets or turned them into pockets. But uh, this is an actual, his name is John Bennett, and he wrote letters to this lady named, I think her name is Lucy. And he was friends with his mother, and I think after or maybe she was one of his parishioners because he was a reverend, and he wrote uh, all about how to act proper. And so there is not only a, a couple of pages out of this, but also turned into a pocket sewn and turned into a pocket and then put um, the peach design on. Um, and, but this is one of the articles. I actually had to uh, laminate them because um, well, I wanted to include the whole whole letter, uh, but it was if it was more than one page, it was so thin. So um, I actually laminated the articles so they would come up um, and be more, you know, keep better. I have a lot of these beautiful. I'm a seashell lover as well, and so I've made cards from that. Another uh, quote from Jane Austen. Um, this is actually from. I believe it is dreams, etc. So, uh, and yeah, these are these are dreams, etc. Uh, pages. This side here is actually a deli girl. Um, she has a, a Jane Austen pattern called Our Jane. Um, dreams, etc. Has a Dear Jane collection uh, and has a great selection. Here's another one of those. Uh, cards. Um, this one is dated 2007. And I got this. This is tissue paper that I put on the back of some Theodosa Square. And this tissue paper came from Zazzle. Um, and uh, I went through a phase where I was making uh, tags out of this beautiful fabric, which came from, it's called Vintage Treasures, uh, a paper pattern. And uh, lots of the different... Um, uh, able to find postcards at Zazzle. And this is where I had a great time with taking a bunch of different, uh, just taking some cardstock and putting, um, stamping it with different um, colors and designs and then putting a, uh, a, a um, stenciling a, a, a pattern on it from uh, a ch in, in the Chinese language. So here's another one of those uh, postcards and here's another one of the little, um, and here's another pattern. 
tags. This is a picture of a, a huge ship that I found in a magazine and turned it into a tag. A uh, picture of, this is actually upholstery fabric that I found in one of those uh, fabric uh, sample books. And I've turned them, I turned it into a pocket and took a Jane Austen picture and put it, um, put it on there and then actually did a little color coordinated. Um, some quotes here. Um, another example of where I take the, uh, the, the fabric and turn it into uh, um, a tag by decorating it or a pocket. This is a picture from a magazine. I love uh, old magazines. This is from an old calendar that I found. And I put in here that this is Artie Mays, just to remind myself that uh, this is a, a beautiful pattern that uh, Artie, Artie Mays has put together. This is from Dreams Etc. Um, this is from a pattern, uh, a, it's, it's called um, Simply, Dream, Simply Jane, and it is, I believe it's a DCWV. Uh, more different laces uh, on, on just about every page I tried to put different laces. Uh, I collect postcards or postcards came with my collection and in the postcards uh, I you can get you know like people will sell their postcards in in used bookstores you know from when they went on trips and then you can take them and put them and use them in in your books like this right here on Bath was only 50 cents so it, um, it's just a lot of fun to search for things that will uh, work in a book. Um, this is one of those Tim Holtz um, women. He had a, has, has a deck of cards that has uh, pictures of old women and old people or old photos, not necessarily old people. He, there's children in there as well. Um, <laughs> my granddaughter thinks they all look, look scary. But um, so moving right along here to uh, this is an old London pattern. Old London is one of Artie Mays's. Um, here's another, and this is an art backside of Artie Mays. Uh, another picture from the uh, the the, ca uh, the calendar. And this is an example of one of the things that I've tried to do with some of those: is pick some of the best embroidery. Uh, you can look here and see on the back. I left it plain so you could see how the stitching is just so well done and how, you know, just putting a little bit of lace around the edge of it, it turns it into a, a pretty um, a pretty little tag that can be used for lots of different things. Um, again, all of this is uh, more uh, Dreams Etc. That's a Dreams Etc. Um, journaling page. This is, I have an old book about Walt Whitman that has his poems in it. And this says to Walt Whitman, the man, and it's written about him and it's after uh, the Civil War. And this is just an example of where I kind of went a little crazy on uh, how to put together something. I took two pieces of uh, a piece of file folder, uh, found a pretty picture, put some, um, some of the, uh, the, um, Glimmer of mist on it and some cheesecloth, but you can use it as a tag. This is a book that I found that was a really a mess, but it actually did have quotes. I guess it was at one time a Jane Austen journal, and it had quotes and empty pages um, that can, you know, could be uh, tea dyed or coffee dyed and used. Here's another one of those keys. Um, and um, this is uh, an advertisement out of a magazine. Um, another one of those take and go books. No, actually this is a fold out. It's using some of those smash books that you can get at Tuesday morning. Just more tags. And at the end, I tried to, to put in or include it in what I send to anyone who purchases uh, my books is extra items. This is an article out of Scribner magazine from 1902. This is a page out of the book of Emma. 
and then um, I'm sure that you've seen Nick the Booksmith's, um, what does she call these, scrappies? Uh, I have just had the best time making scrap pages or scrappies, um, doing some embossing and some glitter mist and uh, cutting out pretty pictures and put the article about the pictures and adding this and that to it and putting um, a little um, tag that can be used inside and other things will go in here as well. But it just really helps me de-stash when I am able to add these extra things. So the book will be on sale in my Etsy store and it's called Patterns. And the reason it's called Patterns is because of the different uh, designs uh, on the front and the back of the book from uh, the different stitching that was done by uh, uh, someone at the old home place. So thank you for watching. I know you have a choice of other places to look. Uh, I just really get a lot of joy out of working on junk journals and I appreciate your taking the time.